Frontview.org article review is a chance to spotlight recent information that didn't garner enough attention from the mainstream media. Hopefully by adding a creative style to dry boring text and introducing the work of experts in the field, this deserves more of an in-depth summary and evaluation of the significance this information has to the public. V-blogging a recent article from frontview.wordpress.com. The title reads, DNA finally photographed. DNA has finally been photographed for the first time. The article goes into detail on how this was achieved, hopefully shedding new light on a physical structure that is the building blocks of life. 59 years after James Watson and Francis Crick deduced the double helix structure of DNA, a scientist has captured the first direct photograph of the twisted ladder that props up life. Enzo D. Fabrizio, a physicist professor at Magna University in Canton Zero, Italy, snapped a picture by using an electron microscope. Previously, scientists have only seen DNA structure indirectly. The double corkscrew form, which was first discovered using a technique called X-ray crystallography, in which a material shape is reconstructed based on how X-rays bounce after they collide with it. But D. Fabrizio and his colleagues developed a plan to bring DNA out of hiding. They built a nanoscopic landscape of extremely water-repellent silicon pillars. When they added a solution that contained strands of DNA to the scene, the water quickly evaporated and left behind cords of bare DNA that stretched like tightropes between tiny messes. They then shone beams of electrons through the holes in the silicon bed and captured high-resolution images of the illuminated molecules. D. Fabrizio's images actually show a thread of several interwoven DNA molecules as opposed to just two coupled strands. This is because the energy of the electrons used would have been enough to destroy an isolated double helix, or a single strand from a double helix. But with the use of more sensitive equipment and lower energy electrons, D. Fabrizio thinks that snapshots of individual double helixes will soon be possible. Molecules of the DNA, or ribocolonuic acid, store the genetic instructions that govern all living organisms' growth and function. D. Fabrizio's innovation will allow scientists to vividly observe interactions between DNA and some of other life's essential ingredients such as RNA. Summary This is one of those articles that should have hit the mainstream news instead of limelighting celebrities and flooding the public with useless celebrity gossip. This finally puts a real physical aspect that was once surrounded in skepticism on what DNA actually was. The picture you see is what we're all made out of, and the information that's encoded in it is getting much, much closer to a real tangible understanding. This article is so significant that it's like we finally see the Lego blocks that make up the toy structure that is right in front of our faces. But the domino effect of trying to peer into yet an even smaller scale leaves us wondering what is the next level of what makes the building blocks of life? And why does everything have to disappear when we do peer down to those impossible microscopic and nanoscale levels? If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe or follow us on frontview.org.